Almost everyone can remember where they were and what they were doing when they heard the dreadful news that John F. Kennedy was shot. They remember seeing the horror on TV, Kennedy, in the back of a black limousine, his aides scrambling back to help him. Less than an hour later, after a dash to Dallas Memorial Hospital, it was announced he was dead. Personalities from around the world recalled what they felt that day. Called Where Were You? A program featured top journalists such as Jeremy Isaacs, Sir Paul Fox, and Michael Aspel, broadcasters Ned Sharon and Millicent Martin, politician Dennis Healy, and showbiz celebrities Terry Gilliam, John Peel, and Nicholas Parsons. Radio One disc jockey John Peel was in Dallas when police arrested Lee Harvey Oswald for the shooting. He was about five or six feet away from me. Either he didn't know what was going on or he was a very good actor. He just looked kind of, come on guys, you know this has gone too far. Controversy over Kennedy's death continues, for many aspects of it remain unexplained. For example, the news received an anonymous phone call on the day Kennedy died, saying call the American Embassy in London for some big news. The call came through 25 minutes before Kennedy was shot and its origin is still a mystery. Cambridge MP Anne Campbell has vivid memories of the shooting, but it made less of an impact on her than an event a year earlier. Even more vividly than Kennedy's death, I remember the Cuban Missile Crisis, she said. But Kennedy's death was also a terrible shock. My husband and I had just come back from the cinema. We turned on the TV, and there it all was. Best-selling Grant Chester author Lord Archer was listening to the Liberal Party leader Joe Griman delivering a lecture at Oxford. When the news came through, the lecture broke up. Young people felt so strongly about Kennedy, he said. A few days later, I led the Oxford University athletics team to St. Mary's Church in Oxford, where half the university turned out to stand in silent tribute to Kennedy. In 1993, Residents also recalled where they were when JFK was assassinated. Monica Runham, 46, of Great Shelford. I remember seeing it on TV, but somehow it didn't seem as shocking as some of the things you see on TV nowadays. Roy Wiffen, 57, of Cambridge. There are many events one remembers in one's life, and this is one most people do. But I can't recall where I was when I heard the news. 